New since six, New Orleans City Council pushes back against Louisiana's trigger laws banning abortion. They took effect one week ago today when the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. Today's resolution by the City Council effectively decriminalizes abortions in the city. Also, law enforcement agencies in the city cannot dedicate city funds to investigating abortions. Investigators are also asked to not keep any information or reports about abortions or miscarriages. This evening, there was a pro-choice rally that ended in front of Mayor Latoya Cantrell's home, and Devin Bartolotta was there. He's got more in tonight's top story. This is the second abortion rights rally in New Orleans since that decision came down one week ago, and advocates say they won't give up until New Orleans is a sanctuary city. Pro-choice protesters brought the abortion battle to Mayor Latoya Cantrell's front door. We say no choice. We say pro-choice. A group of about 50 marched through Broadmoor to voice their opposition to the state's trigger ban. I'm counting down the days to my 18th birthday so I can vote, so I can help, so I can be a part of the change. And the only way I can get, do it now is joining the team. They asked city leaders to make New Orleans a safe city for abortions to continue and asked the mayor to take state police off city streets. We understand that it's an inconvenience. We understand that it's disruptive, but you have left us no choice. City Council is pushing back against the abortion ban. All seven members have co-authored a resolution that would seek to deprioritize investigations into abortions or miscarriages in New Orleans. It explicitly asks the city, police department, sheriff's department, and district attorney not to dedicate funds or time to investigating possible abortions or cooperate with other agencies on those matters. It's similar to bills passed in cities like Austin and El Paso. Tony Jones wants more, though. She taped up a letter near the mayor's front door asking her to state that she won't enforce laws that criminalize abortion. And the only real way we have access to our elected official is unfortunately to come to her house. We tried going through all the official channels. We tried uh, demonstrating at the, the halls of power at City Hall. And it's demonstrations like this they hope will get City Hall's attention. That resolution will be on the agenda at City Council's next regular meeting, July 7th. In New Orleans, Devin Bartolotta, Eyewitness News.